in cantorial school. And the beginning of that actually goes way back to when I first started going to shul. So we're talking about in the early 80s. Uh, you know, I was, I was in my 20s. And, uh, you know, my early 20s. And um, I found out that there was such a thing as a cantor. <laughs> you know, it was like, oh, wow, that sounds great, you know. What, what an idea to make, a, to make a living and have a profession as a Jewish musician, you know. And so I was really fascinated with the idea of it for many years. Um, I had other things to do in the meantime, but I kept on being interested in it for about 25 years. And then I think that some of it was just things I wanted to learn for all that time that I, I, I needed to learn. Um, I had been wanting to go to school in general for quite a while um, because I'd been teaching so long. And a couple of things happened. I think for a lot of people, when you teach and teach and teach and teach, it's wonderful, but you want, some people just want to be the student again. It's really wonderful. And the other thing is like being committed to teaching, I started to feel like I needed to learn some new things to teach. You know, it was like I, I needed more raw material to, because teaching is a two-way process. I mean, but through teaching, one learns, and through preparing for teaching, one learns. And so I wanted to, I needed some basics. For example, my Hebrew needed to get a lot better. You know, my knowledge of liturgy needed to get a lot better. So, so a lot of going to JTS is, is Torah Lishma. So it's study for study's sake.